All right, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about statement charges. Statement charge is a uh, charge that you want to give to your customer um, for something, you know, a reimbursed expense or for, you know, if you have if you have to create a statement every month, you want to charge $5 to the customer. So similar to like a handling fee uh, when you ship out inventory, statement charge can be something that's just a flat fee uh, because you have to create a statement for the customer. Okay, so if they would have paid on time, they wouldn't have this additional statement charge. All right, so how do we do this? We go up to customers here and you go down to enter statement charges. All right, so the statement charges, notice the first thing is you're going to have to choose which client you're entering statement charges for. Let's pick one with some, with a balance. Okay, Babcock's Music has a balance. Okay, so here's the invoice and um, it gives you the information here. It's an invoice, INV. Uh, how much is due, when it's due. And, you know, you can go through and um, see on your clients how they're doing. So if I went back up to this uh, Abercrombie, you see they have all of this activity. Here's some invoices, here's some payments. Here's a discount that we applied to an invoice. Here's some payments. And we had a statement charge for them before. I'm going to go back here though. Okay, so I need to create a statement charge for this because we're going to have to send him a statement so he gets that flat charge. Okay, so you can have a number if you want to, add the number in here. Okay, uh, you choose the item, you can create your own item, statement charge, I created a statement charge item already, and it basically goes to another income account or, you know, a um, <clears throat> reimbursable expenses income account or something like that. You can put in here a memo if you want to, I mean a quantity if you want to, um, the amount comes as a flat, so if I set up the amount of statement charge, so I can do quantity of five if I needed to, but we're just going to say quantity of one, okay? You have a custom description here, statement charge. Uh, you can put in a class if you want to. You can also put in the date of the statement, so you, you know, it's recorded on here why you're doing this, all right? Um, if you wanted to, you can sort this by different things, just register by different things. So order entered, number, reference number, smallest, largest, cleared status, all that fun stuff. Okay. A couple things to note about the statement charge here. You can use an item, all right, uh, but you can't use a different, you can't use a different tax rate. So you can't have taxable versus non-taxable here. It's just non-taxable. Um, you can't use a percentage here. Uh, so it's, it's a little bit different than actually doing this on an invoice or creating a finance charge invoice, okay? Um, again, it's it, it, some clients, some businesses, they use this. They do a flat fee charge. Like I said, it's a handling fee. And in other businesses, it's um, a lot of people have never used it before. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and record this. And we're going to show you what it looks like when I go look at this customer's statement now. So I'm going to create a statement as of 531 from May 1st to the 31st. And for one customer, I'm just going to do it for Babcock there. Let's go ahead and preview this. So the statement comes through. It has here balance forward. It has here the invoice. Oops, the invoice right there. And then, of course, we have our statement charge of $5.50. And so the total that they owe is $7.93. Okay, so it's pretty simple to enter a sta statement charge. Again, it's a preference. Do you, is it easier to do this um, or is it easier to create an invoice?